This is Ann Trombley here at FastCat Performance Cycling Center showing you how we use Dartfish video capture analysis to perform the perfect bike fit. As you can see here, we have the before and after pictures of one of our athletes. Um, in the before picture, you can see he is showing a more oval knee tracking with both the left and the right knees. And what we would like to see is a more up and down or linear knee tracking motion in order to ensure full power output as well as eliminate any possible pain. What I do is do an initial video capture analysis followed by a physical therapy evaluation and a manual bike fit using a goniometer and plumb bob. I then determine what needs to be changed utilizing all of these methods. With this athlete, he did show he needed his saddle raised as well as cleat adjustment. And you can see he's showing a much more linear knee tracking for both the left and the right knees. Um, he is continuing to show some oval motion in the left knee. And with the physical therapy evaluation, I did note that he had a leg length discrepancy. So utilizing, again, utilizing the physical therapy evaluation, I can determine if we need to change things um, such as lifting the cleat and or further raising the saddle in order to get both the left and the right knee to track more linearly. So again, to review, we use here at FastCat Performance Cycling Center the Dartfish video capture, both front view and side view, as well as physical therapy evaluation and a manual bike fit to determine the perfect bike fit for both performance as well as eliminating or ensuring there is no pain while the athlete rides.